Topping tonight's news, a scene of mass destruction becomes a foundation for a new beginning. Good evening, I'm Kim Barnes. And I'm Phil Scott. Austin volunteers are rebuilding a chapel on the site of the Branch Davidian compound near Waco. The compound burned down in 1993 after a 51-day standoff between Davidians and federal agents. Davidian leader David Koresh and about 80 followers died. KB24's Joel Thomas reports on the new plans for the property. I've known the Branch Davidians a long time, and I think they're good, God-fearing people. I think they were demonized. Raise your hand if you need to have instructions. Most are galvanized by the thought the federal government murdered the Davidians. They videotape deputies who've come to hurry them along. They don't trust law enforcement anymore or the media. With donated materials and labor, take exit number 339. They receive directions and head to ground zero. We're going to rebuild it. Waco. At the Davidian compound, the work begins even as the convoy pulls in. We're just thankful to God that uh, there are certain people in this country that still got a, a spirit of uh, assistance and uh, wanting to do, you know, something to show their uh, sympathy and their concern for what happened here, and uh, we appreciate it. And fourth is investigating government tactics during the siege and whether the FBI covered up its use of incendiary tear gas grenades on Mount Carmel six years ago. While more information on the 51-day siege continues to surface, some Austinites packed up their tools today and headed north up I-35 towards Waco. Their mission is to build a church on the grounds of Mark Carmel. Lisa Hanna has the story. There'll be two blue. After just a week of planning, dozens of volunteers from across the state gathered at Mount Carmel to build a church. It's a project that was started by Austin Radio Talk Show host Alex Jones. We're going to build this church back. I've talked to Surviving Branch Davidians, and they concur with my idea to have it a church and at the same time a memorial and a museum for what happened right here on this very ground in 1993. It's called the Phoenix Project, a church that will rise from the ashes of the Branch Davidian compound. I think it's uh, important that we have a place to worship again uh, after our church was destroyed. Volunteers are doing all the work. Volunteers such as Austin contractor Mike Hansen. We just think it's the right thing to do. Jones says the 50 by 50 foot church is more than just a building. He says it's a symbol of what happened here more than six years ago. Jones calls it an attack on religious freedom. And others say they feel the same way. Coming out here today has convinced me that uh, some evil was done here six years ago. There has been tremendous volunteer response to the church rebuilding effort, and one Davidian survivor says she at first doubted the volunteers would come. When I looked and saw the people and how they're helping, I didn't think anybody had the guts to do it. But I'm finding out, and I know there are people outside that agree with us, they're just afraid to speak up. Alex Jones, who has helped to lead this effort, says volunteers of all levels of experience have joined together to rebuild the church on Mount Carmel. And they will try to help heal the spot of this Waco siege. Our main goal uh, is to just try to bring some healing to what happened here. You know, the government should really uh, fix what they destroyed here, but we don't see that happening. Alex Jones also said that any volunteers are welcome. They will be building the base of the structure sometime this week. Kelly? Well, Melissa, are the workers going to be out there every day building the new church? Well, actually, Mr. Jones said that they will be mainly working on the weekends, getting most of the work done on Sundays, but there will be a few people out there working throughout the week. Back to Just in case you don't remember Let me jog your memory In a church they called the Waco Compound Back in April 93 Seventeen little children All so helpless and so small Died a senseless death of gas and flames How many names can you recall? Seventeen little children Don't it make you wonder why? Seventeen 
fifteen little children. How could they deserve to die? Maybe we should stop and ask ourselves if we become so blind. Well, seventeen little children. Did you sleep last night, Bill Clinton? Tell me, did you feel their pain? A seventeen little children cried out and perished in the flames. Attorney General Janet. I accept your offer to resign. How can you stand for law and order now when you won't answer to your crimes? Seventeen little children, all so helpless and so small. Seventeen little children. How many names can you recall? Maybe we should stop and ask ourselves if we become so blind. Will seventeen little children? Said the branch Davidians only got what they deserved. Yet no one seems to know what laws were broken, what was in the warrant they never served. Yesterday I sold my TV set. Stop my subscription to the Times. To me, it's plain to see the media was an accomplice to these crimes. Seventeen little children. Don't it make? Carmel Church burned to the ground in April of 1993. Volunteers were hard at work this afternoon in their continuing mission to rebuild the Davidian Church that was destroyed in 1993. The project began six weeks ago when Austin DJ Alex Jones and others from around the state and the nation decided they wanted the Davidians to once again have a place to worship. The continued effort of volunteers has inspired members of the church and given them a renewed sense of hope. I think there's basic goodness in uh, most people, and I think when they're given an opportunity to express it in a manner like this, it, uh, it's good to see it brought out you know, and, and activated on. Workers will complete work on the outer structure of the building in the next few weeks and will then concentrate on the interior. Waiting on the summer of my soul. Don't lie, my carbon out. I like that.